What's going on, everybody? We're back with the Sandman. This is part three. And uh, we just left off where we went into the Sandman's house. And we figured out that the dust worked for the Sandman, making the uh, dust that they sprinkle all, everywhere. And uh, went through the house and almost fell asleep and now we have to f oh now we have to yeah we have to meet the the person that the same man is up against that's against the same man so yeah let's go let's hop right into it all right so what we're supposed to do is leave this okay and then we're supposed to go this way <gasps> what is that oh sophie you're late I was waiting for you. <clears throat> and you are? Come on, you have to know. I'm the unicorn. I saw you back in my world. Did you want to bring me over here? Yep, that was the plan. I hated letting Sandman have his way. Plus, you're just so cute. Hey, Sophie. Do you have a boyfriend or anything? Huh? Well, no. Well, anyone you like. Shut up! And if there is, it's none of your business. Haha, <laughs> tight-lipped you are we. That's how girls always are. <laughs> so I hear you want to stop Sandman? Oh, I know how that feels. He's such a detestable fellow. Can you tell me what should I do? You bet, but not for free. I want a favor too. A favor? Sandman hides lots of pretty jewels in his house. I've asked to see them again and again, but he's all... But he's all never to the likes of you. Hmm. So I tried sneaking in for a peek. But he made these weird traps to keep me out. Ill-natured old coot, isn't he? So if you can show me one of those jewels, I'll give you something great and useful. How about it? So just bring a jewel here? Yep. The jewels mean I mean the jewels I mean are round and glossy. They come in all sorts of colors, and we saw them before. Oh, but I specifically want a pink jewel, not interested in any others. All right, but what if the Sandman sees me and I can't bring it? Well then, I'll run you through with my horn. What? He <laughs> he, I can't wait. Good luck, Sophie. All right. Thank you. Don't get it twisted. A pink jewel. If you bring me the wrong, the wrong thing, he <laughs> he. All right. Oh, here we go. So it's supposed to go this way. What's the matter? I was cleaning when the painting fell. What to do, what to do. Then just put it back. Here, I'll help. Thank you, thank you. Ah, it's too heavy to lift. Sorry about that. We'll just have to leave it here. Okay, keep it secret with it. Wait, keep it secret it was me, okay? Hmm, something on the wall. Okay. Okay. Keep it secret, secret. Don't worry, I got it. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna... Wait, is this a snore flower? It seems to match the description. Nothing. I must not do it yet, but anyways... I'm gonna cut it to where what we're supposed to do next okay I think we're back welcome back okay, here we go so there are eight stones bed on in the door reinsert so it goes I cheated. <laughs> I cheated. Easy, you know, I can't. I don't know. Okay. A big sack hangs on the wall. There's nothing inside. Got a sack. What? Let's see. Um, one stick is propped against the shelf. Shelves. 
shelves, there's nothing in them, but something thin like a stern room. Here we go. <gasps> Footsteps! It's the same man! What what do I do? Here, where can I hide? Shelves. This the big this one's big. I can hide in here. God, look at the Sandman. Aren't they cute? <gasps> no! Oh, goodness. Oh, the Sandman's really cute. With their nose and... <sighs> he left? Good, he didn't see me. What? Was there someone there? Wait, wait, wait. Let's go, let's go, okay, let's go this way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. See, I thought there was something. Maybe I should break the gla this glass wall with the stick. But what was it? Don't throw stones in the glass houses? But it's a fairy's house, and this isn't a stone. Hmm, still a house though. Oh, forget it. Yeah! Woo! Got a glass shard. Okay. Let's see, let's see what we got. Oh no, papers start back running. Oh, this piece of paper. Memo, you can't read it. Oh, okay. We got that. This doesn't seem as pretty as the other jewels. It's not very shiny. Alright, so we're supposed to go. Wait on. Okay, I think this is supposed to do. A note that you can't read is peeling off slightly. Remove the note. Okay. Now we're supposed to go back. This way, right? What the? Oh my goodness. There you go. All right, let's look here. Hey, lullaby. Are there creatures beside, besides fairies here? What do you think? The creatures humans think up aren't all one kind. There's ghosts and monsters. But why do you ask? I hid from the Sandman in a closet earlier, and I think someone was in it. In a closet? Maybe it was the Boogeyman. Boogeyman? When the Sandman goes to the human world, he makes a path under kids' beds. The Boogeyman, meanwhile, uses closets. Okay, let's do this. Hey, lullaby, can you read what this says? Ah, that's from the jewel harvesting room. It's how to use the suction machine. Put suction cup on target's head and press button. What the? Wait on. Uh... Wait, oh, let's do okay, wait on. I think we're supposed to go back. Mysterious machine. It has a long core with a cup at the end. Is this the suction machine? Sucking what, though? Okay, a bucket of water. This jewel seems kind of seems kind of dirty. Maybe I should wash it. Okay, what the? The pink came off. It's actually a clear jewel? So this is a fake? Ah, oh, this won't do. The unicorn would run me through. Okay, we see there's one for the wind. 
suction machine, maybe, and made the jewels in that other room. So maybe I can make the make a jewel. Let's see what. <clears throat> okay, press the button. <laughs> Look at this. We. Pretty pink jewel. Got a pink jewel. What's this? A hole in the floor. Okay, we gotta go back. So, that I know of, I'm not really gonna show. I'm only gonna show. Look, I can't do it. I can't show everything about this game because I want just to beat the game. And that's it. Alright, we're going back to the unicorn. And here we go. Here, unicorn! I brought a pink jewel! <clears throat> oh, thank you. Finally, I can see this wonder. Oh? Hold on, is this jewel yours, Sophie? Yeah, I made it. Is that no good? Um, no, it's fine, but... Maybe I did something kind of bad. Huh? Oh, nothing. Thanks, I've been longing to see this. Here, you can have this. What's this weird colored rock? It's a limpstone. It has special powers. When you touch it, you go all weak and, weak and limp. Great, isn't it? What's the good in this? How does this help me stop the Sandman? First of all, am I, how am I supposed to hold it? <clears throat> uh, you can ask Dwarf about that. I'm sure he can make it in, into something you can use. Dwarf? A very good at making things, I, s I assume? You know him well. He lives in the cave west of Same Man's house. More open-minded than Same Man, so he should do it. All right, I'll ask him. I'll give you the stone in this bag for now. Wishing for good luck, Sophie. Well, hang on for a second. Hey, unicorn, are you going to keep that jewel? Huh? No, I just wanted to see, but if you need it, I'll give it back. Do you? All right. So what we're supposed to do... Is this? I don't need it. I don't know anything about jewels. Just keep it. Really? I'm not giving it back later. Are you sure? Yeah, better than the one who wants who wants it has it. I'm not really interested in jewels and stuff yet. Hooray! Thanks, Sylvie. Okay. So yeah, we had the. I don't want to play this over and over again. I don't. You know, I mean, we have to play two more games, and so you know, here you go. It's just dark inside. Let's see. Is this where the dwarf lives? I can't see anything. Someone there? Um, I'm Sophie. Are you a dwarf? Oi, that I am. Sophie, is it? Nice to see you. Just don't stand around. Come in. Uh. Oh, is it too dark for you? Could you do me a favor, so favor, Sophie? What? There's glimmers on the plane nearby. Could you catch as many as you can in a cage? Should be a cage around here. Got it. A cage right there. Something resembling a bird cage. Got a cage. And then boom. Jeez, you hear him? Hey, look, I don't mean to. You know, I mean, I just gotta catch it for. Only thinking of myself and making myself, you know, uh. Prolong the game and the others. I don't know. But listen to him. That's sad. You got all fairies. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Oh no, what to say? Dwarf, you there? <gasps> yeah. Ah, did I scare you? Sorry for my ugly mug. All right, come on in. Must be tired from walking. Hmm. Limpstone, is it? No, where'd that unicorn get something this valuable? Can you make it into something I can use? Not a problem, my girl. I'll start right away and just take a seat. Get a nap if, in if you want. Oh, can't sleep, can you? Well, just sit tight then. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Sophie. Not liking it much in the human world, are you? How do you know that? I just know. Fairies know everything about humans. Yeah, it's no fun at all. 
Nothing goes my way. I just hate all of it. At school and with my friend and with my dad. And with a guy I like. <gasps> oh my goodness. But isn't David with, you know... David... <gasps> with Shirley, right? Yeah, see, look. So I think you should meet her, too. All I can really do for her is listen. Maybe she'll be more willing to talk to you. A high school girl? I wonder. Those can be difficult. Don't want her to call me an old granny. Aha. <laughs> Sophie's not ill-natured like you. She's a great, honest kid. Oh, really? Then I'll try using that ill nature to my advantage. But you come with me. I'm, I'll, it'll be, I'll be nervous. Okay, there we go. Of course. Make sure you listen good, all right? I feel bad how much she's got to deal with all, with all by herself. All right, I gotta go. You got you got the day off, right? Don't have to walk me home. I'm fine. Oh, are you coming over today? Yeah, I'll, I'll get out of work early. I'll get a bite to eat before I'm there. Got it. See ya. Oh, Sophie. Come on. Come on, Sophie. Sophie! <laughs> I was stupid for getting all excited over his kindness. Dave is just kind to everybody. But he was the first person I really liked. Thinking that tomorrow would be more of the same, I started to fear the morning, fear the morning more and more, until I even feared going to sleep. Whoa. Okay. Those lullabies lullaby made... Is that really what I wanted to happen to them all? Was I really thinking such awful things? The other day, Unicorn got himself stuck in a... Uh, mire. Mirror. Mire. Had a big laugh about that, I did. And yeah, gotta allow yourself that. Seeing people who annoy you having a good time and can be a real relief. Having a... I don't know. Doesn't make you a bad kid to think that. And no point worrying about being good anyway. So don't go blaming yourself for that sort of thing. Thanks. You're nice, dwarf. Well, that's just us fairies. We're friends to kids. Of course, you're a little grown, but still a kid, too. Oh? Yeah. So it's fine to get back at what peeves ya. Just putting up with what it is... What it is, what it is what adults do. There you go. Woo! Can I read? Can I read sometimes? Here we go. It's wonderful! <laughs> or, I mean, is this one? That it is. Swing this wand, and it'll have the effect of the stone. Give me your hand for a sec, would you, Sobe? What pretty hands. Can't see them, but I'm sure your eyes are the same. That's how it was with your mom, too. You're blind, dwarf? Been staring into flames as I work my whole, all my life. Not that it's any trouble not seeing. Darkness doesn't bother me. Besides, we fairies are hard workers. Me, the Tooth Fairy, Nixie, and Sandman, too. Though, of course, sometimes to a fault. To a fault? Well, just look at me. I can't see. Tooth Fairy's teeth are all rotten. Nixie's got to take... Got to care for her skin always being in the water. My dad... My dad collapsed from overwork, too. He got a hole in his stomach from stress. Worried for your hard work and dad, huh? You have to treat him... Treat him right. He's the only dad you got, Soapy. Now go on. Want to stop? Want to stop Sandman? Is it? I'll be praying for you. Thank you, dwarf. Got a wonderful wand. All right. Do we need to, okay. Let's just go back this way that we came from. Okay. Okay. Now we have to go back to Sandman's house, and then do this. Uh oh! What happened? No! My goodness! <gasps> no! Sandman! Ah, look at Sandman! <gasps> no, 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 Sandman's gonna blow! Well, what? Oh my goodness! What just happened? He seemed really mad? Did you see that? That was crazy. Okay. This way, this way, gotta go. Oh, the other way. There we go. Okay, wait. Oh, so Sophie. Hey, Dust, what's this room? 
This is where the Sandman does his work. He sprinkles sand through the ho those holes there. We can we help too. Sophie, wow, you made it. You're not hurt? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, what's that on the wall? It looks like a world map. Yes, world map. It tells you where it's night any uh, right away. So Sandman can sprinkle sand there. No work, so bored. Is it better to have work? You must be hard workers. All fairies are hard workers. Us and Tooth Fairy and Nixie and Sandman. See, there's a hole in the floor. You see a ladder. What are we supposed to do? Hang on. I'll figure it out. Hang on. So I didn't notice this. <laughs> but yeah, it's right here. Help, help. What happened? The statue fell. I can't move. Heavy, heavy. So how do I do this? Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Just hold on a sec. I'll lift the statue with the stick. You'll be out soon. Got it? Okay, hurry, hurry. Hurry up. Yeah. I'm out. I'm out. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. Are you hurt? I'm fine. I owe, I owe you, Sophie. Lifesaver, Sophie. I'll give you this good thing as thanks for helping me. What the? These are pretty big for glasses. Read. You can read. Wear those and you can read anything. They're Sandman's. But Lifesaver Sophie can, ha can have them. Got translation lenses. I can't read. <laughs> okay. So now we can go this way. And go back this way. This way, though, right? No. Okay, I gotta remember what that is, that room is. We. Not this way, right? Yeah. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. We're supposed to go this way, yeah. There's a hole in the floor. Go down. Hey, look, a dust. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning underground too since, since I'm bored. There's something shiny on the ground. Got a key to somewhere. Okay. Back up. Okay, so th what we're supposed to do right now is we're supposed to get the ingredients. So... Gotta figure out. I think this way. So, so, so we're supposed to get the snore fruit. So, uh, this, this way? No, 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 no. What am I doing? Okay, hang on, hang on. Wait, I wanna read this actually. A memo, you can't read it. I remember, okay, human souls are phenomenally, phenomenally beautiful. There's value in extracting and examining them as jewels. Of course, once research is concluded, I intend to return them to their owners. But that, but does that unicorn think I'll give any to him? I know he has his own crude intentions for wanting to see human hearts. And if any were broken, there's no fixing them. He's even trying to break in. Despicable. I'll have to set up traps around the house. He won't take these precious souls. So that's why. So we look, we got the glasses on. Isn't that cool? Okay, uh, trying to remember how we're gonna go to this. Wait. Okay. Uh, trying to remember a couple things. Uh oh. I've lost me in marbles. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure this out. I'll just uh, just cut it to where we find what we're supposed to do. There we go. Okay. A white flower with red fruits. Take a fruit. Got to snore a fruit. Got to snore a flora fruit. Okay. Then. <gasps> a red blue liquid creeps along the floor. Oh, no! 
I didn't read it. Sorry, did that hurt? Got cryogel fluid. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we got that. And then I think I remember this. Apologize for not reading that stuff sometimes. I get. I want to read it too. I just. I'm messing up. So I think it was this way. But this way, right? No, 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 no. I'm trying to remember. Uh, hang on. I think it was the. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember. Okay. Whee! Okay, I think it was this way. Yes. Go this way. Lizard, okay. Black lizard of sorts. It seems to be dead. Can I cut the tail with the glass shard? Cut the tail. Got a cut a lizard tail. Okay, now we're supposed to. Okay. Now. We. Okay, now we're supposed to go this way. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> we. Okay. This way. This way. Gotta go this way. I think it was this way. We. Okay, gotta remember how to go back to that room. I think I forgot. <gasps> Tooth Fairy Nixie, why are you two here? Hey Sophie, we're just sitting down to tea. To tea. Isn't the Sandman's house? Can you just come inside like that? Can't you come and go as you please? Sandman's house is a place for everyone to gather. It's comfy and such great too. Tea too. Oh goodness. Tea with Nixie's a bore, but Dwarf's not here. Guess the tea's good enough that I can tolerate an old water wench, huh? Say what? Say what, you toothless grandpa? Same to you. I don't want to drink tea with a coot. I just have no choice with no handsome men around. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, f hey, finally a smile, Sophie. Much cuter like that, you know? Oh, really? Oh, oh yes. So much better than that irritated look you've had. Thanks. Fairy seem pretty busy with work, but what from my from what I hear, you seem to be having fun. I'm kind of jealous. You bet it's fun, run teeth for sh sure, but I don't mind it. Oh yes, I do visit the human world at times, but this world's a clear winner for fun. Well, how about staying here? Won't have too won't have much fun if you go back, will you? Oh. Well, good luck to you, Sophie. We'll be here watching how things go. Hope it goes the way you want it. Alright. Yes, okay, this is the way, okay. Now, here we go. We will open, so we're gonna do... Use a somewhere key. Let's go... Alright, let's see. Go up there. Some sort of bull button. Some serious machine is a funny thing at the top. Your gloves made a letter. Okay, here we go. Got leather gloves. There. I can grind up the snore fruit with this. Okay. The candle has a wavering red flame. This candle's too hot to carry. The Sandman's memo said, boil with boil with red flame. But how can I get this flame over there? These gloves are thick, so maybe I can carry the hand the candle. Huh? Even the flame isn't hot at all. I can just carry the flame itself. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna grind the snore fruit. I can grind up the snore fruit with this. Grind up snore fruit. Okay. Made the snore fruit into powder. Let me go up here. Much pots full of water. Alright, here we go.
Oh no! I did it wrong. <gasps> no, I don't remember when we saved it. Alright, so we're supposed to do it this way, I believe. This, and then boom. Okay, and then... Wait till it turns yellow. Goodness, it's turning all colors. Is that yellow? That's not yellow. Hang on. Okay, wait, no, hang on. We gotta wait till it turns blue. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Red. Boom! Okay, so I think. Wait, I'm supposed to. This must be the sand making machine. I just had to. What I've gotten here? Oh, wait, no, wait. Some sort of bowl. Maybe I can use this. Maybe I can use this to transfer the broth into the sand making machine. Got a bowl. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. What the fuck do I think this is doing? There we go. There we go. Okay, a mysterious machine has a funny thing on top. Press this one. Here we go. A button. Push the button. Boom. Okay, a small pile of powder. Wait, what did it say? Okay, I didn't read that. Okay, that was fun. Hang on. Okay, maybe we're supposed to go. Hang on. Give me, give me a second. Ah. Okay, we're gonna do this first. Okay, I'm gonna get to the part where we do this. Here we go. What the... Okay. Great. Put up the emerald flames after use. Okay, there we go. Maybe I can carry the flame over there with these gloves. Oh, goodness. Okay. Got an emerald flame. There we go. Um, I'm going to save right here. Yes! We did it. Okay. This way. And boom. <gasps> What's that? Let's see right here. Okay, here we go. Looks like a diary. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy I can't stand it. How many centuries have I gone without sleep? <clears throat> Before, when the world was flat, when nightfall... When night fell all at one time, I could just work at night and sleep during the day. I was so pleased with my job then. 
but now the world is round and night is everywhere. Whenever, wherever it's day, it's always night on the opposite side. For a world where night is always falling, I cannot sleep. For if I sleep, then the humans will be sleepless. Okay. I feel blessed when I, when I can watch humans in peaceful sleep, but I can no longer properly enjoy it. If only I could even such a wink of happy sleep myself. I've had enough. I've become so tired. and I'm so sleepy I can't help it. I created a machine to stop time. I'll stop time in the human world and put them all to sleep. Forever, yes, but only for a little while. Only for a little while. I completed the eternal sleeping sand. I stopped time and sprinkled it on the human world. Most humans fall asleep, but it seems not all. Those with unease, anger, sorrow. How sad to be unable to sleep. I will create a lullaby for their sake. For the eternal sleep they desire, I'll clear up their grief. Humans have the right to be happy as they sleep. That meddling, idiotic unicorn has brought a visitor to this world. Sophie Grudler, a girl with a smile like the go like a goddess of the sun. She, too, is one of the sleepless hum humans. Even my creation lullaby was ineffective. I must send her to a sweet to sweet dreamland soon. This is my mission. That is my mission. Sandman. <gasps> Made it here. Made it here, huh, Sophie? Is that you, lullaby? What happened to? No need to be in that form anymore, cause I'm just at a lullaby. I don't, so I don't have any form. It seems like like something happened to you, Sophie. You were glaring at me before, so but now you have a much kinder look. Well, because you look like David. Do you not hate me now? No, I don't. What about what about David? How should I know? Lullaby. So the Sandman was was troubled and sleepless too. That's right. He's so serious. Doesn't know how to take a break. That's what led us to the current situation. I feel so bad for him. How hard must that be? Sleepless for centuries because of humans. Fairies are hard workers, so the Sandman could never sleep. He had to stay up and keep working. Lullaby, what do you think I should do? That's up to you, Sophie. No, I don't want to do... I don't know what to do anymore. I want to... I don't want to sleep forever. But if I stop him, Sandman can't sleep. He'll still be suffering. Listen, Sophie. Didn't your mother always tell you? Do what you want to do. I know what you want deep in your heart. But you have to realize it for yourself. What do you want? I... I have to stop the Sandman, but... Sandman was in the long corridor er, corridor earlier. Go meet him. Oh, no. Sandman was in the long corridor earlier. Go meet him. Think it over, Sophie. Think about what you want. Okay. So here... We, oh, wait. A letter. Huh. I can read this without the glasses. It's just plain English. To my dis dear Miss Grunler, I presume you are well? Well, we have passed each other many a time, unfortunately. It would appear we have been un unable to us understand each other. I have prepared a, sl a special sleeping sand for you. Surely with this sand, even you will be able to slumber. I shall be waiting at the top of the castle. I hope you, you will not run away. The stairs are very old and full of holes, so please take care not to hurt yourself, my dear. Sandman. But yeah, so basically Sandman was so mad at us earlier because he couldn't, he tried to figure, they tried to figure out how to really put this person to sleep. So that's why... Yeah, I get it. Sandman. Got the Sandman's letter. Save right here. I think we go this way, right? Okay, yeah, there we go. No! Okay. Let's do this again. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay. Here we go. Sandman. Ah, it's so cute. It was hard not being able to sleep right. I understand. I've been suffering the same way. Look. Look at them. 
I really, I just, I want to be put to sleep too. I've wondered how good it would be to forget all the bad things in sleep. But I don't want to sleep forever. I want to wake up, even if it might be a bad day. <gasps> I'm sorry, I can't understand Sandman, but this is the only thing I can do. Oh, here we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, 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 I'm gonna, hang on. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go off. Goodness. Okay, wait, okay, so, so, so. Ten, ten, ten out of 100. Okay, and then we gotta do uh, sleeping sand. Yes! Whee! Oh. Bink. Oh. <laughs> listen, listen. Oh, that's so sweet. Good night, Sandman. You don't have to put up with it anymore. Take a nice rest. And boom! Sophie. You put Sandman to sleep? Oh, dude, <laughs> I love Sandman. so cute. I couldn't kill him. He put up with so much for humans. He just wanted to sleep. How long, how long will he sleep? Who knows? He was up for centuries straight. Maybe he'll sleep for centuries too. I see. What is what is it, Sophie? Is that the snot bubble? Is that a snot bubble I can't see? Maybe it was all the, that effort. But I feel really sleepy now. <gasps> Sophie! <laughs> It's no good. I'm just too sleepy. If I fall asleep now, if I can't wake everyone up, will all the humans die in their sleep? No, they won't die. Time has stopped for them, so they'll just keep sleeping. That's good. If I... If I can wake up, I won't just put up with the bad things. I'll get back at Reagan. And I'll tell Anne a thing or two. And Papa, I'll apologize to him. And also, I'll, I'll try to be friends with David. I'm sad I never even told him. But now, we can be friends. I just want to have fun with him. I wonder if David thinks of me as his friend. Of course. You should know best how nice he is. There's so much I've wanted to do. I want to think about tomorrow, but I'm too sleepy to stay up. <gasps> Ma! Oh. Shh. Quiet, quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. You don't have to fear any monsters in the closet. I'll be right here. Did you say your prayers before bed? But I haven't heard you say it yet. Sophie, say it for me. Okay. Okay. Good night, Mama. Oh. Look at Sandman. Sandman's <laughs> so cute. Okay, here we go. Say, man. What the? Aww.
What? Ah, this is so cute. Oh. <laughs> Time's back. Okay. Morning. Am I? back <gasps> was it all a dream let's save it quick oh wait and the teddy bear one time okay your favorite teddy bear just wash okay hey look papa where'd you stay at work morning sophie i was working but i fell asleep i just got back now hmm Wait, Sophie, is there something you want to tell me? What? What was that call from the school The school about? I'd never gotten a call from Sister Mary before. What in the world happened? You didn't do something bad, did you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Listen, Sophie, I... I said I don't know! I didn't do anything wrong. Why do you get, why do you get called? Just think about it, but not like you would know. That's right, you wouldn't know, because you never pay attention to me. Just work, 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 never spending time with me. When was the last time we ate together? When did you last say goodnight or good morning? You'd never even done that for me. I, I'm not a good kid, because I'm, my selfishness made you, made you push yourself again. Sophie, I mean Sophie. Sophie almost did it, you know. But you have to get out all the anger and all the, the thinking, because I get it. I understand. Oh no, that's not good, Sophie. Your hair is all red. Did you hit your head? Are you bleeding? All right, that's just the regular color. Silly me. <laughs> is your house built on a cliff or what, Reagan? <laughs> huh? Just look at that hair. It's like you got in a tornado in the tornado one. <laughs> but if you live on a windy cliff... That might explain a few things, like what a blowhard you are. <laughs> what are you girls laughing at? Hey, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into you? I'm the only one you can ever show off in front of. You've always been rigging the blubber blubbering crybaby. Sorry. You! <laughs> Wah! Hey, stop it, you two. What's all this? What's all this about? M my word, what happened here? Miss Grundler, Miss Bloomberg, you're coming to my room this instant. You first, Miss Grundler. I quit being your sandbag. If you make fun of me, I'll pay it back a hundredfold. And nobody's making fun of my mom's red hair. I decided I'll fix my own problems. I'll do what I can to do about the things I don't like. How about you do the same? Well... If you swear to never bully me again, I'll gladly talk it out with you, like old times. Well. <laughs> wow. Sophie! Why? Why did you do that? That's so mean to Reagan. Well. Does it matter to you, Anne? I'm the one being teased. I do care, Sophie. Then why do you only ever watch? You said you were worried, but you just stayed quiet. You were just glad it meant that you wouldn't be a target, wouldn't you? Oh, that's... yep. No, no, I wanted to help, but... Liar, just tell me the truth. Just tell the truth. Say you were too scared. Sophie. I'm sorry. I was the one who told you that. That I was fine. So you shouldn't worry. I really did, did want someone to help. But I put up with it so you wouldn't worry. I thought you might not be my friend. So I was the liar. But I'm not doing that anymore. I won't let Reagan get the better of me. 
I'll send her insults back and answer if she picks a fight. You might not like that, but if it's okay with you, I'd like us to stay friends. Well, Sophie, you're your own person, you know? But I will say, hey, stop bullying, stop fighting. There's no, there's no, you know, presence for, there's nothing for it. Always stay good and love each other. I'm disappointed in you, Miss Grundler. A scuffle in the middle of the classroom? As a young lady, you should be ashamed. While I don't know what happened myself, such violent behavior is so unbefitting of you. It's like what a little kid would do. Do you remember the passage from Job at my ser sermon? Enduring suffering heightens our merit. Hardship is no reason to use force. Boom. I'm no saint. And why is that? I can just grin and bear it, but does it mean I'll be repaying greater merit? Am I really supposed to just put up with all of my hardship for that? Not even. Screw putting up with bad things to be called a saint. I don't want to be a saint. I just want to be human. It's far more important to be able to sleep at night, to do everything I can day by day, and to sleep looking forward to tomorrow. Are you talking back to me, Miss Grundler? Do you think you're right to childishly do as you please? Do you think God would approve? And why can't you be a child? What was it? The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these? Do not raise such quibbles with me. What am I saying? What I am saying is that your attitude is... I don't mind if God doesn't care for me. Because ever since I was little, I know I've had someone watching over me. I will be telling your father about this. You may be busy with work, but this I cannot overlook. I'm going to have a long talk with him. Do what you will, sister. But he won't be available today. I have important business with him. Miss Grundler. Papa, did you not go to work? I, I took the day off. I see you. Sophie. I'm I'm sorry, um, for not realizing how you felt. I thought you hated me. You're in high school now and I wanted to be close, but I thought you'd be annoyed. I'm busy at work, true, but I've convinced myself if I just keep kept working, you could be happy, but I guess I was misguided. I didn't know how lonely you felt. I'm truly sorry, Sophie. Can you forgive your papa? Oh, I'll be praying for the day I can. Sophie. Hey, I get it. This... I'm sorry for the awful things I did. I love you, papa. I was scared to sleep in an empty house. I worried over things that were hiding in the closet like I was a little kid. I don't want to be alone. Papa, stay with me. Of course, Sophie. You're my precious daughter. Today's the end of a long, cold war between us. How about we go out for something to eat, Sophie? Ice cream! Sorry, Papa. Hold that thought. There's somewhere else I want to go. Ow, jeez. What'd you do? I fell asleep watching TV at your place, so my neck's really sore. No wonder your neck looked crooked. Boom! <laughs> it's so great. It's so great. Oh, that's so good. Uh... David! Hey, Sophie. Long time no see. Oh, right. I should introduce you. This is Shirley, my fian fiancé. There we go. Nice to meet you, Sophie. I've heard about you from David. Hi, Shirley. Nice to meet you, too. Uh... Oh, you seem pretty happy. Something good happened? Well, there's a lot I want to talk about. A lot happened and a lot changed with Anne, Rick, and Papa. And also the Sandman. <laughs> Sandman? Feels like I've heard of that. What was it? He's a fairy. David, a sleeping fairy. He uses the sand to put people to sleep. Well, that sounds like a lots of fun, Sophie. We're going out to dinner, so do you want to come? You can tell me all about it. Yeah, that sounds great. Sure, let's go. Peace and love. Let's go, yes! Yes! Look at this, look at Sandman. Wow. 
And so so ends the tale of the Sandman. Made up? Of course it isn't. You remember it, don't you? Though you were asleep, you remember a night that felt like eternity. That night was the night you slept while the Sandman stopped time. Now close your little eyes. I'll tell you another story tomorrow. Good night, my little dear. Yes! Woo! Happy end one. Don't stay up too late. Boom. And I think that is the only good ending. I mean, that I know of. Uh, that was the only good ending. But anyways, look. Here we go. The credits are rolling. And my, eye, my eyes are bawling. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a really good story, though. And I do... Uh, I'm, I'm so appreciative that I get to play it. These games are amazing. Uh, and general RPG horror games or RPG games like this are just incredible. And... Uh, and now we're on to the next game. And uh, I won't say the title, even though we, you've seen the title before one time or when uh, another. Or watch it, you've seen it at the end of the Crooked Man. And one, and if you watched the, if you watched the Crooked Man series that I did. But uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah. I can't wait to play the third game and then the fourth. I had the fourth game I really didn't play. I played a little bit of it, but it didn't, never got close to finishing the game. That I remember. The author is Yuri. Yuri has made the. Uh, the Strange Men series, and then plus like at least five or something or six. But there's the end. Anyways, six um of these games, of uh of games in general. So thank you Yuri for being amazing. Congratulations on beating the Sandman, and thank you for playing. To those who also played the Crooked Man, you have my additional thanks. This game differed in every way from from its predecessor. Apologies to those who are expecting a TCM like story. But I'd been planning this since starting this, the last game. I'm very glad to have finished it. The Something Man series. That's crazy, the Something Man. Currently has four games in it. The story and mood differ depending on the man. So I hope people will try to uh, try the other entries. Again, congratulations and thank you for playing. Wee! Look at us go! Wee! Let's save right here. All right, and then, yeah. Oh, what did it say? What did it say? Hang on, hang on. Okay, this bed leads to a bonus scenario where you can see the story from a different perspective. Beat it to get some extras such as character bios. It should take about an hour to go through. Recommended for those who want all, who all, who want all the plot. No. <laughs> no, no. Anyways, this was the Sandman, and thank you for watching. If you did. And peace out.